Welcome to Center for Online Education. Friends, today we are going to discuss about an in another important topic that is known as statistical investigation. As you all know that in a statistics investigation is very important because it is all about inquiry. Whenever you have to make any decisions, it is the data and the fundamentals which help an individual to take a proper decision. So, to take a proper decision, you must have a proper statistical investigation technique. So, today we are going to discuss about the statistical investigation. Let us explore. Introduction. Now, the question arises that what is statistical investigation? So, Griffin has said that statistical inquiries have always required considerable skills on the part of the statistician means it is a person who is doing who is applying the statistics is known as a statistician and it depends upon him that what type of statistical tool he is going to consider for his study for his statistical work rooted in a broad knowledge of the subject matter area and combined with considerable ingenuity in overcoming practical difficulties means whatever difficulties he is going to have and whatever difficulties he is going to have in decision making process can easily be solved genuinely by the help of a statistical investigation in a form of a statistical unit which he is going to make. Now objectives of sample investigation, why we used to do sampling, why we used to go statistical investigation. So, sampling is very important over here. The first point says that estimating the parameters of the population like mean, median, mode, etc. So, for calculating mean, median, mode, standard deviation, you required the simple samples. And this sample, for this sample, you have to go again to calculate the mean, median, mode. So, here the first objective is this that whenever we have to calculate these things, you have to do a statistical investigation. Second, testing validity statement about the population means whatever population is this, whatever population we are carrying, it has got a validity or not. So, statistical investigation has another objective that it validates that this is our statistical population and we are considering this population for our study. Investigating the changes in population over time. What are the changes which has been occurred in a village, in a city, in a town, in an area, in a continent, in different planets? So, the changes which has been there, which has been taking place can easily be understood by taking the help of sampling in statistical investigation. So, the three main objectives of statistical investigation is this that it estimates the parameters, it tests the validity and it investigates the change which is being taking place. Now, what are the essentials of sampling? Now, as I have told you that statistical investigation deals, it depends upon the sampling, whatever sampling you are going to collect is very important. So, this sampling is very important. So, here there are four points. The first one is representative. Your sampling unit must have a proper representation of a universe. Means the sample unit is almost homogeneous with the universe you are going to take. Second, adequacy. It must have a proper number. It must have the sample size must have a proper number of the universe. In social science study, we used to take 5 percent of the universe. Whatever data you are taking, 5 percent of the sample we used to consider for our study. Then independence. We have to take care that the sample unit which we are going to consider must have an independent value. Means that we are not taking the sample from any specific area and leaving all the things. We are going to take the sample from different areas which are independent but must have a homogeneous quality. The last one is homogeneity. Homogeneity means that whatever sample you are going to consider must have some common qualities in them. They must have some common parameters and assumptions. So, with all these four 
points we can say that it is essential for the sampling. Now I have told you the four points. Here you can see in this example. In this example you can see that we have taken three. One, two, three rows. So out of these three rows there are three colors white, black and this is gray you can say. So, whenever we have to make a sample, we have to see that it must have a proper representation. So, here you can say you have got a representation of black, gray and white. It must have got adequacy, means it has got adequate things. If it is 12, you have got 4 over here, the number is adequate. Then it must have independent. Some are taken from here, some are taken from here, some are taken from here. If the black one is taken from here, then the, you can say the gray one is taken from here and you can say that white one is taken from here. And homogeneity means they all possess some common qualities. So this is the essential for any of the sample investigation. To make a proper sample, that your sample is good, you must require all the four points. Here we have left this point, one is left, we have taken two. 3 is not taken, 4 is not taken, we have taken 5, 6 is not taken, 7 is not taken, it is not taken, 9 is not taken, we have taken 12, 11 is not taken. So this is what our sample size is. And this sample it has got a specific representation of all the universe. Clear? So this is very important. Now merits of a sample investigation. Why we used to do sample investigation? The first one is cost efficient. If we are going to study the universe, it requires a lot of cost, it requires a lot of money. So, we are going to take a sample, same qualities which a universe have, we are going to collecting a sample of a same quality and we are going to test. So, the first thing is this, it has got cost efficiency. Then, studying the whole universe is a very time taking process, but when we study that in a specific sample, it reduces our time. So the second point, time efficiency can also be enhanced by the help of sample investigation. Then reliable. If your sample is somewhat same with the universe and there is no sample error or random error, you can say that the study, the result which is going to be there, the inferences you are going to take in out have a reliable result. Then flexibility. By selecting a good sample, a statistician has a flexibility that which of the statistical tool he should consider and apply for a proper decision making process. And the last one is detailed information. If you are going to study the whole universe, it is very difficult because each and every parameter must be taken into care of. But when we take sample, sample and that to a good sample, then we can say that whatever the study we, minor study we used to do, we can easily do in that sample, which helps a statistician to get a detailed result, a detailed accuracy about us or result. Now, what are the demerits of sample investigation? It is impossible to attain 100% result. Why? because there is always being some difference between the sample and universe. So this is the first demerit that accuracy, 100% accuracy cannot be attained by the help of sample investigation. You can get accuracy up to 95%, 96%. In scientific study, up to 99% you can get the accuracy. Sampling error and random error, as I have told you, that whenever you are considering sample, you are going to take out the sample error. If your sample is more than 5%, there is no use. So, it must have a least sample error or no sample error for a good study. Then experts are required to ensure that the result of the sample investigation are satisfactory. So, here the role of expert is very important. The person who is conducting the study itself proves that this study is this much of accurate and it is being reliable. Sometimes the sample does not represent the population correctly. Means as I have told you, 
that statistical investigation highly depends upon the sample you are considering. So, if there is any deviation in the sample automatically this is a demerit for the sample investigation process. And the last one is if the population has has to run characteristics you cannot apply this method. As I have told you for collecting a sampling you must have a homogeneity quality, homogeneous quality in all the things. So, if there are different aspect there are products are different they are heterogeneous you cannot apply this method. So, the sample must have common attributes and they must have a homogeneous quality in them. Now, planning of statistical investigation. So, whenever a statistician used to do study, he must have to plan that how he is going to conduct his study. So, the first point is objectivity of inquiry should be fully known. Why we are doing the study? What are the objectives we are taking care of? Whether we have to evaluate, whether we have to examine, whether we have to analyze, whether we have to take decisions. So, these are the objectives. So, each and every objective must be clearly framed. In the scope, where are the areas in which our study is going to apply? So, the scope of the study says that these are the areas in which our study is going to be helpful. Then, nature of the information to be collected should be defined. Means, nature of the information whether it may be a raw data, it is a process data, whether you are going to study on nature, whether you are going to study on the technological aspect, scientific study, what type of a study it is. So, nature should also be properly determined. Unit of data collection should be defined. In what unit you are going to collect your data? Centimeter, millimeter, kg, milligrams, units is very important rupees, dollars. So, what is a unit? And the units must be uniform. There must, if you are going to give the weightage, the weightage must be in uniform. So, here unit of data should properly be done. Sources of data collection, type of data collection to be used, that is whether it is primary data or secondary data, whether the data is published or not, whether you are collecting data by the help of questionnaire, schedule or interview, it is a primary data or whether you are going to take any published data. So, all these things must be properly understood and this must be known, this must be planned in a proper manner. Methods of data collection, whether this must be census or sampling method, collecting data from each and every individual in that specific area says that it is a census process. While we select some people and we take the data, it is a sampling method. Then the next one, choice of frame should be made. Choice is what? Which statistical tool you are going to apply? What you are going to do? Whether you are going to do a comparative study, analytical study, descriptive study, empirical study, any historical study, philosophical study, conclusive study, exploratory study. So, it must have a frame of choice for a statistician that which type of study it is and how he is going to conduct his own study. Reasonable standards of accuracy should be fixed. As I have told you, there is degree of freedom and level of significance. Scientific study, up to 99 percent, it must be accurate. For social science, 95 percent must be taken into account. So, standard must be maintained and it must be shown in a proper manner. Now, let us see the organization of statistical investigation. How you can say that the statistical process is being taken place and we used to say that this is the way we are going to say. The first stage is planning of a statistical in investigation. So, in this stage we used to plan, we used to control the function, we used to coordinate, we used to plan, we used to budget. We used to direct the things, that is known as direction. Okay. So, all this process we used to do while planning an statistical investigation. From where you are going to get the data? The data is primary or secondary. All these things we are going to take. Here you have to plan. 
so after the planning you are going to find that yes we are going to do study and we are going to collect our data and this data collection is by the method of questionnaire so it is a primary data if you are saying it is a published data means some magazine some pay newspaper some government budget you can say it is a secondary data right now editing of the data third stage editing of data means you have to make row columns whatever you have to take you are going to take that and what is obsolete you have to delete that row if you are working on the comparative study of ages and gender so automatically age and gender will be taken education qualification will be not taken so this is known as the editing of data means we have to take the data which is of our use then presentation of data how you are going to present your data whether you are going to present your data by the help of graph whether you are going to present your data by the help of tables whether you are going to present your data by the help of different charts so this depends upon the statistician how he is going to present the data it must be in a simple form it must be understood by maximum people so simplest form by which you can present your data now the last or the fifth stage is interpretation of data how you are going to interpret the data you have make a bar chart pie chart any chart you have taken you have taken the mean median mode and now you are going to apply the statistical tool right whether it is chi square test z test f test anova correlation regression any test so by the help of these tests you are going to interpret your data and after interpreting your data presentation of the report is being made means if you are taking correlation you have to say whether it is a positive correlated negative correlated if you have got regression you can say that whether your hypothesis is being accepted or rejected whether you are saying chi square test you are saying that whether your hypothesis has got 3 percent level of significance or not so on all these things you are going to present your report and this report after having a presentation interpretation and statistical tool you are going to write a full stanza about your conclusions suggestions that this is a suggestion you are going to make this is a conclusion you are going to make so this is the whole process of a statistical investigation means whenever you are going to conduct any research these six points is very important from planning of the statistical investigation to the report writing so here one should always know that our statistical investigation starts with the statistical investigation planning then we collect the data then we edit the data then we present the data then we interpret the data then we present the data in a report form which is very important this report is going to published and come in front of the people who are directly or indirectly being used being helpful with that specific report so i hope this statistical investigation is very important for any statistical process because without a statistical investigation you are not going to get a proper result i hope you have understood thank you mm -hmm.